at a very early age, I think I knew I wanted to do something that was helpful to other people and that was a part of the, what I would call the Lord's work. I didn't know exactly that I wanted to be a parish minister, but, but something that related to the Lord's work. In school, I liked journalism. I did acting and was interested in that. In college, I got very interested in debate. But uh, I had a little bit of experience with higher education that made me think this is really a good life. Uh, the president of my uh, college had asked me to make some speeches for him. He, he drove me to rotary clubs and he would get up and introduce me and say, now I want one of our students to talk to you. And so I would make the talk and uh, come back uh, to campus uh, sort of intrigued. And he asked me to work for him for a year then after I finished college. And in that year, I thought, you know, this man has a wonderful life. He's dealing in the Lord's work. He's in the realm of books and ideas. And uh, it must be very satisfying. And I never dreamed necessarily that I would be the president of an institution, but I thought I would get a degree and then work in higher education, and that would be what I was supposed to do. The day I rode on campus, having been elected to the position, uh, the thought flit through my mind, uh, I wonder how I'll go out of here. I mean, would I die in office? Would I be here till I retired? Would I stay here till I'm an old man? Would I be incapacitated in some way at some point? Those kinds of thoughts run through your mind. You just wonder what destiny is marked for me here. And I th thought a lot about the fact that a university is an ongoing institution. That's what we love about it. Institutions were created because they need to last beyond our own lifetimes. They represent ideals and convictions that we believe in and they're valuable for society and in our case for, for the kingdom's work. So uh, we, we want it to endure. And I thought a lot about that and it came to me that, that we're all sort of runners in the relay. We run a few laps and then pass the baton but the institution goes on and that's what we love about it. Well, I'm very big on the idea that the mission ought to be the driving force behind the institution. And when you think about it, uh, the, the root word for mission really conveys the idea of send and being sent, missile, uh, missive, and so forth. And when you say mission, you, you really are saying, what is the essence of the institution? What is it intended to do? So I've, I've uh, tried to make that a cornerstone of Samford, and we've had a lot of people get involved in trying to develop, contribute to the idea of what is the essence of this institution. And I like very much the statement we've come up with. We've tweak, tweaked it a bit, we're tweaking it more, but in essence we say that the mission of Samford University is uh, to nurture students for God, for learning, forever. That's a compression of what we believe is most important. Certainly what this institution does and what makes it distinctive and different is its religious nature. And so we see what we're doing as unto God. We're not just employed. This isn't just a job. We're not just providing economic benefit to the community. We're about something that, that is uh, godlike. And secondly, the whole idea of learning, which encompasses all that we mean by culture, heritage, tradition, truth, uh, and if we believe that God is the source of all truth, then whether truth is found through the uh, astronomer's telescope or in the biologist's microscope or in human endeavor, it's God's truth. He provided it. He's the author of it. And finally, I think the idea of the eternal. It's not that the institution is forever. We say that its purpose is to be in perpetuity, and certainly it goes from generation to generation. But we know ultimately who is in charge. And we do believe in the eternality of the soul and therefore believe that we're dealing with human nature, combustible as it is, delicate as it is, fragile as it is, but it is eternal. And so what we do has eternal consequences. That's not true of a lot of our other charitable acts and efforts, but of a university that's centered on God, learning, and eternity. So we've got a, a big task, an eternal task.
I think I'm a very fortunate man because I think I've gotten to do what I, what I wanted to do, and that's be a part of an institution that had these kinds of values in which I firmly believe. Thanks to some good things that have happened and wonderful people that I've had to work with, I'd like to think that uh, I can look back and see that it has made a difference in the institution, but more than that, in the lives of individuals. I'm very fond of saying that behind every student there's a story, there are great stories. And if you just had time, you sit down and you find out about these kids, where they come from, what makes them tick, what they want to do and be. And to think that you've had an opportunity to be part of this institution, which has really helped to shape and make a difference in their lives, that's the most satisfying thing of all.